2022, the Garden Fit Ball, and the 2023 edition of the Container Solutions. I'm Joan Mazat, the lead of the Container Solutions Committee, and we've been hard, hard at work bringing great new designs that offer solutions not just for the grower, but for the consumer. All of our containers here have received minimal, minimal pruning. Light, light, delicate pruning that our consumers would be happy to do and great color, great performance year round. So let's just jump in and go tell you all about our favorite containers and why and what these genetics are doing to make them our favorites. So let's start off high at the top, Canna Canova Bronze Orange. I can't say enough about Canna Canova. Whether it's in color or whether it's in its foliar state, it's a winner, height element, texture and beauty all in one. So now, great breeding innovations in Angelonia are brought to us by our friends at Ball Floor Plant. This is the Angel Dance Fuchsia Bicolor, perfecting bicolor in Angelonia. It looks like an artist painted it. It is so gorgeous. Everyone loves petunias in containers, but sometimes they can get out of control or they can be too compact. Ball Floor Plant brings us Sure Shot. This one is Sure Shot White. Look at that gorgeous habit. Keeps its shape, keeps flower power all summer long, and it is vibrant and clean and non-straggly throughout some summer rains that we have had in the past week. And then of course, to give us a pop of yellow, we have a brand new Lucky Improved Yellow. Why is it improved? Flower power, flower holding, great habit and this just makes a really nice orange white purple bright colors can be seen from far far away here we have our can of canova again our bronze orange in a different application because we just love them so much however we have some really terrific genetics here such as the lantana blumify white what is so spectacular about blumify it doesn't set seed and it has a very pure white, but just a touch of yellow. And I really like that touch of yellow because it picks up the perfect yellow star in the Calabacoa mini famous Neo Red Hawaii. This one screams, notice me. And the one thing that we really took advantage of this year is utilizing different plants as a trailer. And in this case, we have the Dorianthus Mizu Trailing Red. It does have a red flower, but it's certainly not the focus of this plant. Look at the way it just hugs the container, behaves itself, doesn't get in the way of the other genetics, and just allows it to shine. Okay. How about a container that has a different design style? The container that has a little bit of everything because you just can't decide what to put in. And so when you have that, you can enjoy a trip around the world. So let's do that with this very container. Let's start at the top. The Millet Jade Princess. What do I love about this? Of course, color without flowers, gorgeous chartreuse foliage with those mahogany plumes, which goes with just about everything. One of my most favorite Calabrocoa to utilize for containers is this bumblebee hot pink. Looks like a little bee is inside the flower. Again, takes the sun, takes the rain, just stands out so beautifully. And again, something for everybody. This is brand new sedum, what a doozy. Usually sedum you think about utilizing in a garden setting. Here with this beautiful texture, bicolor foliage, flowers but still maintains itself well in the container and gives us a bit of trailing. Hebe. This is Hebe Spock brought to us by our friends at Selecta. Now when I think of Hebe I think about a fall item that blooms strictly for that time frame. These are a series of Hebe that they're bringing forth as cute little potted items that can be utilized in mixed containers and just stay green. So it supplies a different level of texture and interest to a container. Petunia Bee's Knees. It is, in my humble opinion, the Bee's Knees. It is gorgeous. It has great flower color retention. It keeps its habit, but yet it has just enough vigor to do extremely well. And then, of course, new breeding in perennials. So this is our Gara Beliza Dark Pink 24. 
What I really like about the way this has been redone is that it's a nicer habit, a bushier habit, um, and an excellent flower presence that will be wispy but still have substantial place, place in the container. Now, sun coleus. Everyone loves sun coleus. This is the Volcanica Solar Flare. I really love this one because of the perfect color match to our Millet Jade Princess. So I hope you enjoy this trip around the container. The Container Solutions Committee really thrives on the next greatest thing, the next best and brightest breakthrough. And so this container I think is what all that really encompasses. So let's start with just the height item. Um, Miss Canthus Bandwidth. I really like Miss Canthus Bandwidth in a container because as a grass, it doesn't overgrow, it keeps its place, and who can resist a spotted plant? Breeding breakthroughs from Pan American Seed, the Kupfia Sweet Talk. When you stand here, the hummingbirds are buzzing, the bees are buzzing. This Kupfia Sweet Talk is exactly that. It is the sweetest thing to pollinators. Breeding breakthroughs again from Pan American, this gorgeous Pechoa Cali Burst Yellow. It is the first and only Pechoa from seed. What is really great about this one is that it can be ready to go early season, but yet can maintain itself throughout high temperatures and weather and has a nice, tight, perfect habit. Cleomi. In the past, our designers have used Cleomis in containers, but they were just overpowering, too much, too thorny, too smelly. This solves all those problems. Our wonderful friends at Ball Flora Plant have brought forth this excellent Cleomi Lavender Dreams. Holds its shape, holds its flowers, and all those nasty things that you can kind of associate with some of those older varieties of Cleomi are completely eliminated. This is one plant. It has great, great staying power, excellent vigor, but as you can see, it still maintains itself with the rest of its friends in its containers. So this one really, it's a container of innovation. What can I say? So let's take a step back and see its friend next door. We're gonna focus on some different ideas with this container. She's beautiful as a package. But again, let's think outside the box when we're thinking about trailing items. This is the Portulaca Porto Grande Orange. Yes, it's a succulent plant, so you would think, doesn't it, how does it play well with these plants that demand more water? Well, these plants are taking up this water, allowing this plant to flourish, trail, give us color, holds its habit, and we just can't say enough about utilizing um, these types of portulacas as a trailing item. Breeding breakthroughs in Verbena. This is the Cadet Upright Lavender Orchid. Again, bright colors, really plays well with the orange. And then we have our shamrock, um, the rose gold. Excellent habit. Again, our friends at Ball Flora Plant are at the top of their game with breeding advancements. So let's talk about their king size cousin <laughs> next door. When I'm grouping the containers, we love to start pulling in the different lavenders and the different colors so that we can actually complement and have the colors kind of resonate. But Wow. <laughs> so what I really love about this container, of course, if you know me throughout the years, I love my large, large statement pieces. This would be perfect in a landscape setting, um, shopping mall, that type of ideas. So let's start at the top, our Cypress King Tut, making a great stately king size statement way up high. We have a brand new Salvia Plum Crazy, again, brought to us by Ball Floor Plant. What is so great about this plant is the height, the flower power, hummingbirds galore. And then I love wave. Wave petunias, of course, have always been a mainstay of mine. And here we have a great use of the tidal wave silver. She goes right through the plum crazy, straight through the cypress. Everybody working together so, so super well. And then of course, to bring out that heart of the color, the Alternanthera purple prince, getting that color picked up from the center of Tidal Wave. And then last not least, all the way through is coming our um, Asparagus Fuzzy Fern Frizz. There's really nothing Frizz doesn't go with. And it really does a great support plant, another texture item in our king size container this year.
Salvia Blue Chill. This is a statement piece. I would not recommend it for really small containers. This is one plant in the center. The architecture is amazing. The vigor is amazing. But you know what's really more amazing? What it means to our friends, the pollinators. This particular pot buzzes with bees all day long. So this is really a great salvia to consider adding into your assortment because it'll make our little friends extremely happy. And of course, that will make your consumer happy. Flowing through with such a large statement piece, I can't resist to go to our classic wave petunia. That's our classic petunia purple. I love it, I will always love it. Something to always consider when you're utilizing uh, the, the purple classic in a container. Every once in a while, do come through with your scissors. It'll make sure it can maintain that habit. But against the black pot and the softness of the blue chill, we just can't resist but to use it. And to complement these vibrancies and to kind of chill out with our smooth salvia is the Centuria Silver Swirl. This is brought from our friends Darwin Perennials. You need to feel free to utilize perennials in containers. It doesn't matter if it's going into the landscape later. Utilize it, love it, and just enjoy. And now one other thing we'd like to consider from the perennial family is this Time Silver King. I don't really want to cook with it. I just want this aroma on my patio. And again, it adds a nice bushy element, a different texture to the container, and a great, great smell. So I really enjoy that aroma on the patio. I think that's very important. I really love utilizing Gara as our centerpiece for our containers. It's light, it's airy, the breeze flows through it, and this one is of course no exception. This is the Ballerina White. Non-stop color, but yet no overpowering. Second step, we're gonna use a second perennial in this particular container. That is the Artemisia, the Olympia. And we really love it because it has that nice, sun, it's called sun fern, and it does look like a fern. So it's a really excellent texture and color. and great compliment, of course, back to our Gara. We have an award winner on deck in this particular container. This is brand new again from our friends at Pan American. This is the Coleus Premium Sun Coral Candy. It is an AAS winner. So, of course, you have to include that in your offering. The really nice thing about this particular Coleus, very much at home in the sun, very much at home in the shade. Let's compliment the Coral Candy with the gorgeous Kufia honeybells. What do I like about honeybells? What's not to like? It's a hummingbird favorite. There is so much, again, sweetness for our hummingbirds and our pollinators. It maintains an excellent form. Look at that interesting habit, the way she branches and presents her flowers. And it's a perfect color complement, again, to the Keller Bacoa, the mini famous uh, uh, Neo Red Hawaii. And as you kind of circle around, our designers here got really creative with this brand new Euphorbia Flurry from our friends at Ball Flora Plant. What do we like about this particular Euphorbia? Of course, it's so double, but look at the way it holds a nice, tight, tight habit and really brings out that white of our Gara. So we hope you enjoyed a little look at what some of our favorites here at Container Solutions are at the Gardens at Ball. There is a plethora of containers for you to enjoy, and please come on down and see us. Thank you.